Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post today is by Enjoy My Jacket, titled, We'll Talk About the Pay When You Message Me. Please read in full before saying you're interested. I am in search of a third shift babysitter for my five-year-old son. I live in Beg Beggington. Interviews will be required. He sleeps pretty well all night. I just need someone there if he wakes up or starts getting sick. I will have a designated area for you to sleep, or you may stay up all night if you want. I go to work at 9.20 p.m. and will be home by 7.30 a.m. I do not need a nanny or maid. He will not sleep at your house. I work Sunday night through Thursday night. I never work Friday nights, but sometimes I do work Saturday nights. You'll get paid weekly, and we'll talk about the pay when you message me. If you have any questions, or if you're interested, message me. Thanks. I responded to this, and she wrote back, I'm pretty set on what I'll pay. It's $50 weekly, but if you have to watch them on a Saturday night, too, then it'll be $75 a week. Also, this is a five to six day job, not three. I responded that is one dollar an hour. Good luck with finding good, safe, and responsible care for your precious child for fifty dollars a week. That is a dollar an hour. I got more than that in 1979 when I was a teenager with no experience. They say having kids and raising kids aren't cheap, and I know firsthand daycare, childcare in general isn't cheap, but you know what? If you want to have a kid, you need to plan ahead. I know sometimes you can't plan ahead, but you need to cut some of your own things to make sure that your child is going to be adequately cared for. $50 a week sounds like an evening news story when something goes wrong. This next one is by T.S. Dan titled, Being an Artist is Fun. Hello, I need a PFP for my channel. What kinda? Like my profile pic. I'm black, by the way. Oh, okay. I can do it. Okay, thanks. That'd be $5. Can you do it for free? No. Please, bro, do it for free. You can't pay? I don't want to pay, bro. It's easy to make. Bruh. Okay. Done. That's not like it. That's what you can get for free. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, what do you want for free? What do you expect for free? Do you want everything done for you for free? I'm pretty sure you do, but that's not how the world works. This next one is by Emperor Augustus, titled, Aunt doesn't like that I asked her to pay shipping. Hi, do you still have the Latin textbooks from your first year? Yeah, I never sold them in the end. Do you think you could give them to Blank? She needs them for school. Sure thing. Free? Yep. Okay, when can you come and drop them off? I'm not back in blank until Easter, but if you can pay the shipping, I can post them. You said they were free! Well, yeah, the textbooks themselves. I'm only asking you to cover the shipping. It wouldn't be more than a few pounds anyway, so it's a good deal. No, I won't cover it. You said free! If you want to come up here and get them, I'll give them to you for free. I just don't see the point in making a loss on textbooks I could get 30 to 40 pounds on. Will you pay for my train ticket? Never mind, I'm not arguing with you. Blank needs them by Wednesday, please drop them off before then. I already said I'm not back in blank until Easter. I'm not going to come down just to drop off some textbooks to you. Sorry. Fuck you, I'm not expecting much, blank, just that you help me out because that is what family is supposed to do. If you can't do this for me, then I suppose I can't do anything for you either. You really are despicable. I'm so ashamed of you. Wow, okay. I'm not asking much from you either, but here we are. Fuck you, I hope you fail Latin. I've already passed, <laughs> but whatever. I'll swing by an Easter with the books if Blank still needs them. No, you won't. You are not welcome here anymore. Alright then, I hope Blank does well with Latin. See you. 
Wow, so because they don't want to go out of their way to deliver textbooks to the beggar, the beggar just cuts them off. They're not family anymore because the beggar was going to get books for free, but didn't want to pay for the postage. Shaking my head at how fast family can just cut family off. This next one is by I Guess I'm Bad, titled, Friend is upset I won't let him use my new car to get laid. Hey bro, is it cool if I still borrow the whip tonight? Yeah man, just bring it back by 10. What time you swinging through? 6. Alright homie, see you then. I'm going to give you the whip back tomorrow morning instead. Nah dude, I need my car tonight. Why you need it overnight? You have your own car. Emily wants to get drinks in the south side tonight after our date and I'm not going to get laid if she knows what kind of car I'm pushing. Doubt she'll care what car you drive. Be more worried about how your crib looks. <laughs> Plus, I don't want my whip parked on East Carson. Too many drunks and don't want to worry about it getting hit or sideswiped. Dude, don't be a fucking asshole. You know I've been trying to hit that since college. Are you really going to do this to me? Do what to you? I just bought the charger and I'm not going to take any chances of you driving it drunk or it getting vandalized or hit in Southside. You know I've been grinding to get it for the past few years. It's a fucking car, bro. Do you not value our friendship over a stupid whip? Weird, because I was going to ask you the same thing. I mean, they have a very valid point. You're going to value using the car so you can go get yourself laid because you don't have game enough to get yourself laid on that alone. You clearly don't have a personality, so you need to use materials. Not going to get too far in the long run. This next one is by DC9 Fancap, titled, Friend only has a new Reddit, so he asked me to post this for him. Choosing Beggar requests a drawn picture from him and gets racist when things don't go his way. Slurs are censored. Hey, can you draw me, please? I really like your art. Yeah, sure. What are you looking for, exactly? I do 12x12 12 12 canvas frames all the way up to 30x20. I've never seen your 30 by 20. Is the Proportuins good? It's for my girlfriend's birthday. So, what do you think she would prefer? I'm thinking you could draw me, but with too poor written on top of it. Yeah, the 30 by 20 really looks good on the wall. And it would be nice for a portrait. I usually charge a little extra for the addition of your message at the top, but seeing as it's for your girlfriend's birthday, I'll leave you off with it. I charge $120 for the 30 by 20. Okay, I get that you're trying to make money and all, but I have a proposition for you. If you look at my Instagram handle, at Begging Forever, have over 700 followers and my most recent, most got a lot of likes. If you send me this for no charge, I will give you lots of publicity. And you'll probably have 15 to 20 people asking for you off you next if you do a good job. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't do deals for publicity, no matter how famous you are. It takes me a long time to create these, never mind the cost of supplies. Seriously, dude? It's a hobby. I'll even let you post my picture on your page with my face beside it and tag my Insta so people see how good it is. At the end of the day, it's good business and some paint and a few bits of canvas that aren't that expensive. <laughs> Linen canvas can be quite expensive. You'll have to find someone else to paint you. And just for your information, I'm actually quite cheap. You won't find anyone much cheaper or willing to do what you're asking. Bye. Oh jeez, joke's on me I guess, thinking that a black person would do something for the good of their heart. I guess some things don't change. <laughs> okay, I'm blocking you now. Reported. Fuck you, homie. Oh, of course. Let's get racist when we don't get what we want, because that's the key to getting the things we want, right? It's not surprising that they don't want to pay to have the painting done. They're not the one doing the painting. Clearly, they have no skills, otherwise they would paint the painting themselves. I really hope no other artist has to deal with this person. This next one is by That Sin Girl, titled, OK Lady. My babysitter can no longer work for me due to her hubby finding a job and only having one vehicle. So I'm in search of a new sitter. Details. Daughter is four months. After school son is five years old. Bus drops right off in front of my home. 
must be in my home. Monday to Friday, 7.30 to 6.10, unless my husband gets home before me. Pay is 100 bucks a week. Yes, I know it's not much, but it's all I can afford. Must have CPR certified. Must have experience in that age group. Please no rude comments. Just for those who don't do math, that's $1.92 an hour? My babysitter I have now gets paid that, and she didn't have any problems with it. She loves kids and needed extra money. If you're not interested, don't comment. You mean your ex-babysitter, because you're posting this ad because your babysitter that you claim to have now can no longer work for you. I'm guaranteeing it's because you're paying them so little that they ended up just finding another job and came up with a reason as to why they can't watch your kid, when the reality is it's probably due to the pay. And our final post today is by Princess Pumpkin Muffin, titled, Guy wants a ride and calls his family members greedy fools for wanting gas money. Never ask my mom's side of the family to help you, because they won't help you unless you offer them money. <laughs> greedy fools. They refuse to drive me to the store to get some carrots, because I would not give them money for no reason. But if I offered them $20, they would be right here. That's because you're asking for a service, family or not, you're asking for a ride. That requires them to pay money for gas to get you from point A to point B, then from point B back to point A with your groceries, and you know what? They don't want to do it for free. Own up, learn some responsibility, pay them, offer them five bucks to take you to the store. It's really that simple. All right. That's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and have a great day.